Hi there, my name is Albert Gannat and I'm a PhD candidate in the MIT Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics. I'm also a member of the Julia Lab where I work under Alan Edelman and Chris Rakakis. Today I'll be presenting a bit on airborne magnetic anomaly navigation, machine learning based platform calibration, Julia's role in this work, and the signal enhancement for magnetic navigation challenge problem. This work is supported by the United States Air Force MIT Artificial Intelligence Accelerator. The basic idea for Airborne Magnetic Anomaly Navigation, or MAGNAV, is to use magnetic measurements taken by the aircraft to assist with navigation. The simplified concept of operations is to start with a known initial position, such as from GPS, at which point it is assumed that position information is no longer available, due to GPS jamming for example. The aircraft has an inertial navigation system that can estimate position but the position error will drift over time due to the double integration from acceleration measurements. Magnetic measurements are also taken and essentially compared to a known magnetic anomaly map to increase the position estimate accuracy. Anomaly here more or less refers to the magnetic variation in the Earth's crust. These magnetic measurements contain four components. The core field dominates the signal, but it is well understood and modeled. Temporal variations are small in magnitude and can be measured at a ground base station or modeled. The anomaly field is a pre-mapped and known quantity and it is used for navigation. Finally, platform effects come from the aircraft itself and act as a corruption to the magnetic measurements. These platform effects can vary in magnitude significantly depending on the type of aircraft and the measurement location on the aircraft. In the best case scenario, measurements are taken on a tail stinger of a geosurvey aircraft, which will be shown shortly. In this case, the platform effects are observable and can be calibrated out using the state-of-the-art model, which will be discussed shortly. The worst case scenario is measuring within an aircraft with significant magnetic noise. In this case, many of the platform effects are unobservable and cannot easily be calibrated out. As mentioned, a geosurvey aircraft can take measurements on a tail stinger, far away from most of the aircraft's magnetic interference. Using these measurements, Canciani has shown that navigation accuracies of tens of meters are possible. However, this type of setup is not realistic in practice. The state-of-the-art calibration model used to obtain the tens of meters of accuracy is the Toll's Lawson model. This model works well for the observable effects with the tail stinger measurements that were discussed earlier. The goal of the Tolls Lawson model is to obtain clean earth field measurements. This is done by using scalar total field measurements which contain corruption and are shown by the letter C in this equation, as well as vector total field measurements which are represented by the A matrix in this equation. The A matrix is multiplied by a set of coefficients shown by the letter X in this equation and these coefficients are determined during the calibration flight. The details of the A matrix and X vector are not in scope for this talk but what matters is that together they represent the aircraft field which is essentially the corruption to the raw measurement and must be subtracted out. However, an operational aircraft must measure in challenging environments that contain magnetic interference that is not well represented in the Tolls Lawson model. There are two calibration approaches that can be used for this type of situation, at least two that will be discussed in this talk. The first approach is to replace the calibration model with a neural network. Here, the training data contains the physics-based Tolls Lawson A matrix as was described earlier with the Tolls Lawson model, as well as additional sensor data, meaning that more observables are provided to the calibration model. This also means that there's potentially more relationships that can be exploited in this calibration model. The other neural network-based calibration model resembles the Tolls Lawson model in that the A matrix is directly used. But here, the X 
neural network term, the t which is uh, similar to the Toll's loss and coefficients, varies with the data. So it's not a single set of coefficients, it's a varying set of coefficients. Looking at some preliminary results for either of these models, uh, the results are very similar, but in particular the second approach is shown here. We can see that the neural network approach significantly outperforms Tolls Lawson. So the green and purple are the Tolls Lawson uh, performance, and the blue and orange are the neural, ne neural network performance, which has about five nanoteslas of error. An important thing here is that only in cabin sensors are used for this testing, so no tail tail stinger measurements are used. There have been a few benefits of using Julia for this project. First of all, uh, composability. For example, um, the core model, the core field model, was uh, direct, directly available uh, within Julia. Secondly, ease of use, uh, such as creating these neural models. Uh, it was very straightforward to create different neural networks and uh, basically plug and play into the state-of-the-art calibration models. And finally, speed. Uh, the, the code runs extremely fast, uh, fast enough that it could be done in real time on a real platform. The public version of this project is available in the magnav.jl repository at the link shown here. This repo contains a description of our challenge problem, magnetic navigation code, and flight data, which will be each of which will be discussed next. The challenge problem for this project is essentially to do what was described in this talk, calibrate magnetic signals better than the state-of-the-art Tolls Lawson model. The next round of this challenge problem should begin near the end of summer 2021, possibly in time for JuliaCon 2021. Starter code that is useful for platform calibration is also provided, such as the Tolls Lawson model and scripts to import data. Finally, a rather unique flight data set is linked within the repo. This data was collected by Sander Geophysics near Ottawa, Canada in the summer of 2020. Flights were performed at different altitudes with a variety of maneuvers, and magnetic measurements were taken in many locations throughout the aircraft, as shown in the image. In addition to the magnetic data, also INS data and voltage and current measurements were provided. And uh, just a short disclaimer for this project. Thank you very much.